What's up everybody, Trevor here, and we're gonna go over using the in-app logbook. Uh, this is a digital logbook that allows your, yourself and your coach to see your progression um, across time. And this will allow us as coaches uh, to adjust your program to make sure progress is moving along forward. So I've already completed my workout from yesterday, so I moved to tomorrow. Um, so what you'll do is you'll open up the dashboard um, and to look at your macro view, look at your calendar, you can see all of your workouts for the week. Here you can drag and drop things as needed. Um, your coach is going to recommend the days that you should be doing these. Um, that is basically to give you optimal rest um, in between workouts, and it's kind of the best schedule. But obviously, um, you can adjust things as needed. Um, let, you let your coach know when you do that. Um, and then they can obviously help you set up a continuous schedule that's repeating um, that you'll be able to complete. So, all right, so we're gonna go to the dashboard and you'll open up your workout. Now, at the top of the workout is some information on tempo, rest, pause, choosing a weight, all kinds of information there. Now, there's some individual videos here going over rest, pause sets, uh, failure, things that you'll find in your program that you might have questions on. So if you do have questions, be sure to reference the top portion um, of that workout. So we'll click start now to get going. Um, those instructions are there at the top at any time during the workout. And be sure to read the instructions on each exercise. There's going to be some specific instructions um, as far as sets, reps, and how to perform those reps. So my workout is going to start with two assisted hip airplanes. Now what I'll do is after I go through each side, I'll log eight. So I did eight reps on the right side, eight left, eight on, or eight on the left side. I'll do that for my second set, and I'll type in eight. I'll move along now. What this will do over time is this will give you previous uh, data. So in um, to the right of it, you can see um, all of your previous training data, um, and that can help you make decisions on what weight uh, to choose for each exercise. Now, you'll work your way down here. Be sure to um, check the notes. For example, right here, the leg press. Um, uh, three sets of 12 to 15, ascending weight, three second eccentric. So we want a three second eccentric, three seconds on the way down. These little notes are really important. Um, this is um, basically the proper execution for that exercise at that point in your phase uh, to get optimal progression. So um, if you have any questions about any of those specifics in your program, definitely reach out to your coach and you'll get that clarified. Um, so at the end of the workout, you'll click save, and then you'll give some information on how difficult that was to complete on that day. So this is where I do want you to take into account things like poor sleep, things like uh, being hungry, um, anything that's affecting your workout. I want to know about that as well as how difficult the workout was. And you can leave a little comment right here letting me know uh, anything specific. Once you're done, you'll click done. And then that workout will be logged, um, and then you can see it, and I can see it, and that tracks things across time. So using this logbook allows myself or other coaches uh, to look at your training progression in order to uh, suggest exercises or suggest, uh, suggest swaps um, to that training program in order to keep progression moving.